Yo, 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 what's up? Today I'm going to tell you about the time I fought an NBA legend's son. Hey, so I'm playing ball. It's just, you know, a regular day at the park. Cool, man, I'm like 19 at this time. Hooping. All of a sudden, I see this tall guy, long, and you could tell he's just taller than everybody else. And he, you, you could tell he's a baller. You could tell he hoops. Like, for real. You could tell he hoops for real. I was a serious baller, too. So, But you could tell this guy had to be, like, D1, like, just from seeing him. Okay. We're balling. We're balling. I'm playing. He has necks. I keep winning. I notice he's walking around the courts acting like, oh, you know, like he's too cool for school for that park or so. Whatever. Moment comes, he gets on the court. It's his turn to play. All right. I'm taking it to him. He's bringing it up to my team. He was probably winning at this time. It was nine years ago, man. But he was probably winning. He goes in for an open layup, and I kind of do a hard foul. I grab him on, I grab him on like his right shoulder, and I jank him. Not too hard, not too hard, but just enough that I guess he felt mad about it. All I kept saying was, I had to, I had to, I had to. That's all I kept saying. I had to. I had to. He's like, why you pull? Why you pull? I'm like, I had to. That's it. He keeps talking. He keeps talking. He keeps talking. He keeps talking. Game's over. I'm on the sideline with like two of my homies. What are these people doing? Oh my goodness gracious. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. Okay, so now game's over. He's still talking on the sidelines. He's still talking on the sidelines. He was talking so much shit, I said, okay, let's go. And then we both step on the grass and we started going. I start with a tss, 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 like a one, two, whoop. one, two jab, straight right. And I got him. I actually got him. I remember, well, now let me paint the picture. This guy's six foot five. And I haven't even mentioned it. Glenn Rice. His son. Yes. It was Glenn Rice Jr. I fought him. Okay. The first combination I threw, I hit him. But I didn't do no damage. I admit it. But I did hit his face with like the first jab, one, two, and then the straight, right? I hit him. I didn't do no damage, man. I didn't do no damage. This guy's 6'5", 210 pounds. I was 6'1", 230, 20 pounds. So he had a considerable height advantage, long ass arms, and me, I'm 6'1", 230, regular arms, I suppose. Or you know, but whatever. Whatever. Shit, the whole park gathers around. We're going at it. He's throwing these fucking, uh, what do you call it? Telegraphed big punches. I'll admit that. They were big telegraph and telegraphed. Boom. Boom. I kept blocking everything. I blocked everything. I blocked everything for a good, for like a, the first two rounds. I blocked everything for like the first minute. You know, a minute in a fight is a long time. Then after some time, I don't know exactly after how long, but after some time, he threw a one-two, a jab and a straight right, and he got my ass. He got my ass like, poof, poof. Like, moron. And he got my ass with that, with that one, two. I felt it. Like, now, he didn't even make me stumble or go like, Ugh, or wobbly or anything. But let me tell you, I felt those two punches, man. Um, after that, 
we kept, you know, trading punches, nothing, nobody's connecting, I'm not connecting because my arms weren't long enough to reach his tall ass, and he's keeping his distance, I had never fought a, a, such a, like a tall guy, I mean, he wasn't that tall, but I had never fought a, a guy like, a, as tall as like 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six that he was. So I'm there trying to figure this guy out. What the hell is going to happen next? As I'm throwing punches, I slip. I slip on the grass. Listen. Though. I slip on the grass. I start, you know, trying to... I'm trying to, you know... As I slip, I, I, I go down and I'm on guard. You know, ready to use my legs in case he tries to go ahead and jump on me. And try to start pummeling me you know what I mean as I'm but I, I, since as I sleep you know I'm comfortable fighting off my back on the floor I'm comfortable um he just says nah nah he showed class he's like nah man just get up man he gave me his hand I stood up and we're right back at it five seconds later the park we hear we hear uh hey you you your ID, your ID. It was the park ranger, wannabe cop, comes through. Hey, I'm calling police, I'm calling police. On his radio, hey, I need police, I need police at the park, right? Whatever, the fight stopped. Now, me and him are hanging out at the parking lot, just waiting for police. As, as police are wait, as we're waiting for the police to show up, me and Junior, Glenn Rice Jr. actually talking, saying, hey, what's your name? I didn't know who he was. He's like, Glenn Rice Jr. I'm like, I didn't say nothing, but in my mind, I was like, oh, shit. This, this is Glenn Rice Jr.'s son. And then I tell him, yo, my name's Eddie. Let's just say we, let's, when the cops get here, man, let's just say we were, we were horse playing. We got our story straight. The cops get there. We tell them. We approach the cop, we tell him, hey man, we were just horse playing, you know, that's it. The cop believed us right away. He rode out, and me and him, me and Glenn Rice Jr. rode out as well. And that's it, that's the story of when I fought an NBA legend. I don't know if he's an NBA legend, but he definitely, yeah, let's call him an NBA legend. And when I, this is the story about when I fought, that was the story about when I fought uh, an NBA legend son let's call it that that's it that's the story um, I mean, that's it I mean if I would have been I could, like one of those you know bees you know one of those bees I, I could have sued him man I could have sued him if I, I could have sued him or gotten him in trouble or something. I, I could have said, because he was playing at Georgia Tech at the time. He was playing at Georgia Tech at the time. I could have asked, extorted, like, you know, asked for money. Go, like, oh, yo, give me 100, give me 200. But, you know, that's not how real men operate. We kept it gangster. Uh, like a year later, we saw each other at a game. Like, you know, just a regular game somewhere. I forgot where it was. At a gym. We hooped. Um, this time, his dad was there. And uh, we just hooped. You know, they won. I played a good game. I had about 20 points. But his team won. And that's about it. That's all I got for now. Um, I hope the brother's doing well. I don't know what he's up to now. I don't think he's in the NBA. But uh, whatever he's doing, I hope he's doing well. And that's it. Peace. Subscribe and like. Thanks.